Felix Fernando Ruiz Art. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Now if you caught my last video, you saw how I colored in, or at least started to color in Betty here. So this is, for those of you who didn't see the last video, this is a, a racy, pin -y commission featuring Betty and Veronica. Um, and here in, in various negligees. So uh, last time around, we added color to Betty and we started coloring her, but here is the finished Betty. She's all done, all her skin tones have been added. So um, a lot of people have been asking for Veronica. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna, let's get in a little close. Let's get Veronica all ready. We're gonna jump in and color Veronica. So very much like we did with Betty, I'm, I've got, I'm gonna start with a, a dark skin tone, and this is what Copic uh, calls uh, light suntan, E13. Once again, always go by the number, because um, Copic tends to change their names, uh, the names of their colors somewhat. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna hit all the dark spots on Veronica, anywhere where her skin might be a little bit darker. And I, I'm gonna go right through into the, the negligee area because um, some people, uh, they liked how the, uh, the, the tra this transparency of Betty's negligee, and I want Veronica's to have a little bit of that. So what I do is I just run the skin tone right into the, the negligee part, and we'll blend it, we'll blend it in uh, a little later. I'm gonna go in with a with a softer tone. I'm going all the way down to Veronica's hip. Now, while the the color is still somewhat fresh and and wet on the page, I'm gonna go in with some of my lighter skin tones, my E02, what they call fruit pink, which I'm not sure if if uh, Copic has changed that or not, but um, again. Uh, you're better off just knowing the numbers. Uh, and that was E02, which is a very, very light skin tone. And again, go into the negligee area, go into the face, pick up that darker flesh tone and carry it through to where it gets lighter. And that darker skin tone, I may end up pushing it in places, you know, that that's not necessarily as dark as it's going to go. I may... Um, I may need that to get a little darker later on. Um, you really kind of, you really have to kind of feel your way around this stuff as you're doing it. So I'm gonna go in. And as always, as I mentioned in the, in the last video and with a lot of these videos, always be ready to leave a little white showing. Leave a little white showing, uh, cause that, will make them seem shinier, more rounded. Let me, now I'm gonna go in. This is my lightest, my lightest skin tone of all, which is E00. And this I use kind of as my blender. I go in and I kind of run this over all the skin tones that I just put down and what I'm doing is, um, I'm, I'm kind of sewing all of those skin tones together. Now this particular pen, I just refilled this. Um, I did that, I, I filled it as, a, as part of a demo on the, the proper care and feeding of Copic markers, which is actually the title of another one of my videos. So if you're interested in, in knowing how to how to refill your Copic and, and change the nib on it. Um, go check out that video. Um, I, I did it strictly for those of us who, who really need a little help with the maintenance of our pens. So please check that out. So th this pen is newly, newly loaded and also um, 
the the nib on it is fairly the nib is brand new and you can see how dark the nib is getting that's because it's picking up some of the graphite some of the pencil that's still left on veronica here and it's also picking up bits of ink because veronica here is of course inked um so even though the ink has dried you know it, it's it's not unusual for it to flake off a little bit um to flake off and, and kind of contaminate the the nib and, and you know i i I, I can be kind of lazy about changing my nibs, or maybe a better word for it is, is kind of cheap with uh, changing my nibs. Um, so, you know, I you could actually kind of get away with uh, with leaving that dirt. As, as, long as, you're, as long as you're aware that that nib is, is going. This, see, this one is, is just a little dark. Um, but as long as you're aware that that contamination is on the tip, um, you can, you could still be kind of careful. You could still, uh, you could still use it, uh, be careful with it, be careful where you're, you're applying it. Um, and it'll, it should still work for you for a while. Eventually, eventually you do push it a little too much and, uh, and it's going to need to be changed. Um, okay. This is not my darkest skin tone. This is my E11, which is called Barley Beige. And I'm gonna use this where I want the skin to be dark, but not too dark. So I'm gonna just hit that up in places again, in the negligee area. And just those little flecks of color in the negligee area, even if I were gonna leave this white, you could see the, the translucency happening, but I'm gonna give that a, a more solid, substantial color in a, in a bit. So I wanna go down and, and notice too, when I add the color, when I'm coloring, say something, a cylindrical shape like Veronica's arm, I'm not bringing the color all the way to the edge. I may do that with my E00 but this way it kind of gives Veronica's arm the sense of a little bit of reflected light. A little bit of reflected light. Same, same with this elbow that I'm coloring here. See that edge, that light edge I'm giving it? So that is where the light is heating up Veronica a little bit. So I'm gonna go in. At some point I wanna do a video and I, I did a little bit of a demo for uh, about this uh, with my class the other night. A video where I, I combine uh, Copics with a uh, colored pencil, which is something I've been doing some somewhat lately. And it gives me some pretty nice effects. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the effects that I've been getting with that. Um, so I may, I may do that. I think that would be a fun video. Uh, okay. Now what I want to do, I want to, I want to heat up Veronica a little bit. So I'm going to get what is what, what Copic calls flesh, which is their R02, which is kind of a rosy flesh color. And then there's a nib that really needs. Uh, now that nib, I'm really, I'm really gambling using that nib. That nib needs to be uh, retired and given a Viking funeral. But we'll, we'll we'll give it one more one more mission so what i'm looking for are places on veronica that could be heated up a little bit you know like her cheeks if you want to make them a little rosier her chin the tip of her nose uh her dimples uh maybe we could heat up her the side of her buns here a little bit maybe you'll cook her belly a little bit Maybe her hands a little bit, just to make those a little darker. Go in with my E02 to carry that through a little bit. Now Veronica has these pearls, and maybe we could go in and do a couple of pearls. Um, now for the pearls, I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of an interesting combination. I got two light grays, 
and my lightest blue, my B00, which is a frost blue. So what I'm gonna do, this is my cool gray number three. And watch, watch how I go in Veronica's Pearls and just introduce a little dab of the cool gray number three, right kind of in the center of each pearl. And then what I wanna do is, is with the, the blue double zero, I'm gonna go in and just hit up the underside of each pearl. And that gives it a little bit of, of cool reflected light, which gives each pearl kind of a, a little bit of a shine and a little bit more of a dimension to it. So it's, it's a very light, subtle touch, but it'll be there. Now I'm going to go in with my, uh, well, first of all, I want my cadmium red and I'm using my cadmium red to go in. I always give Betty pink lips and I give Veronica red lips just to make a distinction between the two characters. Betty is nice and innocent with the red lip, with the pink lips and Veronica is a little bit more worldlier and, and vivacious. So now I'm gonna get the my pink and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna bring, introduce a little bit of color to Veronica's negligee. Here and there. And what I may do is go in with that, that rosy flesh a little bit and push some of that color a little bit more, make it a little bit darker in places. Uh, now this is, it's called blush, and it's, what it really is, it's kind of like a very light pink. I'm gonna go in and lighten that up even more. Go back with my pink again. Make it just a little pinker. And maybe her, the waistband of her, of her underwear there. Make that pink as well. Um, I'm going to go in with my Uh, I think I'll go with Carmine, which is kind of a, a violet-ish red. And I'm going to do that for some of these little, these frills. Now Betty here, of course, is also, or I'm sorry, Veronica, she's wearing stockings. I don't know if we'll get to the stockings. Oh, but we've at least gotten to her skin. So let's warm up her skin. And what do you think? What do you think of Veronica? How is she looking? How does she compare to Betty? I'm gonna go in, of course, and keep working on her. Um, but I hope you dug this. Um, I don't know if we'll get to a part three because we're just about done with this one, but let me know what you think. And I uh, appreciate you guys hanging in there and all the feedback on the piece so far has been great. Uh, please check it out on the social media, which I always link to in the description below. And as always, comments, questions, complaints, threats, click like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. Keep drawing.